long as you love me Where you're from, what you did As long as you love me, who you are Where you're from You know, I'm probably gonna have to <laughs> delete that audio <laughs> <sighs> Time for my Saturday errands. Yep, yep. Not wearing my favorite hoodie because it's going to be 80 degrees today. So they say it was also supposed to rain yesterday and we had sun. So. We, uh, the weather in the whole country is just really weird right now. But I can tell you one thing. Where I live in s central to East Virginia, I can tell you the, the massive snow that seemed like everybody got. It like literally like this around us. Like curved around. Winter just said, eh. <laughs> Not going there this year. Like really, we had no winter. I think one day we had like flurries and you had to squint to see those so yeah whatever <laughs> and me I love 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 snow but if it's not if it's not gonna snow I would rather it not be cold so anyway we are into spring I am into thinking of you know getting my front of my house looking good again get the garden up again and um, yeah but today I've got my my Saturday errands to run and I was just looking at my yard because the uh, the yard guy came yesterday um, so I mean this really I don't think it even took him like 20 minutes, you know, just wasn't a lot to do. Um, so, anyway, I miss my old yard guy. <laughs> he was so awesome. Anyhow, um, so yeah, let me get, let me get out and start my Saturday errands. It starts with Starbucks because my brain's not firing on all cylinders yet this morning and then we'll go from there how cute are these these are so cute these spatulas what that is so cute let me get the focus on my camera so you can see it Y'all can't see that good. Oh, it's fuzzy. That's upsetting me that y'all can't see this. There we go. Oh, that is adorable. This goes in my tea collection. I have to get it. The rain has started. <clears throat> so... I just came out of Dollar Tree and the rain has started. <laughs> I got caught in it. Coming out. And of course I didn't have my keys ready so I had to take time to get my keys. And now, of course, my hair's wet. No, whatever. So, I think I'm going to run home and put stuff away, show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. Glasses have rain on them. That's always fun. <laughs> One moment. Y'all would actually be proud of me. I actually stopped myself in Dollar Tree. 
I didn't even go through the whole store. I probably went through half the store and stopped myself. Uh, before the point of regret. <laughs> I like when my hair fold, goes up under my ears and folds forward like that. I don't know. Anyway. Alright guys, I'm going to head home. And I'm going to... Um, show you what I got at Dollar Tree and I gotta go potty <laughs> so and I do that at home <laughs> so um <clears throat> let me do that and uh then figure out my next plan for them it's gonna rain all day and I have things to do so and I have things to do at home as well um but it looks like it's gonna be a day out in the rain <laughs> So let me show you guys my Dollar Tree haul. I'm totally excited about the things that I got. I found this really cute. It says grow with love. Nice springtime thing to go outside. Got some tissues because, you know, it's a daycare. Runny noses are a thing. <laughs> um, oh, Sandy girl is <laughs> there you go, girl. <laughs> Got this really cute. Um, it's a, a learning uh, posters to hang up for my daycare kids. Um, scissors. Got a couple of these. Uh, they like to get into everything, so. I've got to really step up my childproofing game here at the daycare. Um, got Sandy a couple of treats, and I'm real careful about reading the ingredients on stuff. Now I got this. Um, it's a facial serum, and this is hibiscus and rice milk. And I've been doing learning a little bit about rice milk lately. Um, shake well and massage three to five drops onto your face. Ingredients is water, um, butylin, glycol, no idea, hydrogenated castor oil. You know, when I think of castor oil, I think of that stuff that back in the day grandparents used to make you take. Anyway, um, phenol, and they all, all of the, all of the had pretty much the same ingredients, but I think there's the, there's a difference when it gets down to, um, let's see, yeah, I can't pronounce most of this. Then it's hibiscus, avomaceous, hibiscus flower extract, and the uh, rice extract. But I'm, I'm actually saw something on TikTok. I'm going to do some more research into rice water because it talked about making your rice but then draining the water off and using that water in your hair and y'all know I'm feeling weird about my hair lately I want it thicker and longer like it used to be so I'm going to do some more research into that this is for my face god I hope I don't start growing facial hair <laughs> facial hair um and got sandy a little dental thing and while it's not purple I did find it says navy. I don't know if I'm have some color issues with my eyes or not, but to me that looks purple. Does that look purple to y'all? It says navy. So it's a type of blue. But it looks purple. Hmm. Anyway, I, my two favorite things combined is since I don't eat fruit loop cereal anymore, for obvious reasons, the sugar and all. Um Got me some Fruit Loop flavored jelly beans. I love jelly beans. For y'all don't know, y'all can, I need to get a P.O. box, right? So y'all can start sending me jelly beans and teapots. <laughs> um, so, yep. Yeah. And 
got some super glue adhesive tape because I got a corner of my a, a corner plastic thing coming off my wall. I needed some shampoo. I normally don't like getting my shampoo from the Dollar Tree, but VO5 is something I used growing up in my I always had thick hair growing up. So I'm gonna VO5. And this because that toilet in my hallway is the bane of my existence. And then some toilet cleaner. See, this looked interesting. Sea salt spray for hair with sea salt, sea kelp, and argon oil. Volumizing texturizer. So it says that you shake thoroughly, spray onto dry hair, twist, tussle, scrunch from the ends for a wavy boost in texture and let dry. So I'm going to play with that. I got some more this detergent. Okay, I want to, let me talk about this detergent for a second. So my sister has one of her pet peeves, everybody's got their pet peeves. One of my sister's pet peeves is the lid on the dish detergent. Now, I mean, I could care less. I just, and I, but I do notice that she comes along and shuts mine. Um, I just usually, when I use it, I just set it back in the thing and I don't worry about that. Um, it smells really good. And, um... Is that, do y'all have a pet peeve? Do you want your dish detergent lid closed or left open? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. And then I found some really cute, I've been thinking about my upcoming vacation more and more and more. So I need to quit spending money. But um, I found these really cute, y'all need to go to the Dollar Tree now because now is when they got a lot of cute spring and summer stuff. Don't wait until you're into spring. Or almost summer because the good stuff will be gone. I found this cute little... I used to have a VW bus. And it's like... It's a beachy. Beach themed. And got a little beach house. And then... And of course, like I showed y'all earlier. This little... This is going in my cabinet with my tea stuff. It's so cute. I could not pass it up. It's adorable. Um, I got some more wipers for my glasses. I got the kitties, some lollipops. Um, I got this cute, of course, because it's got a, I think it's supposed to be a watering can. It looks like a teapot to me, but it's got a bee on it, and that's associated with honey, which is associated to tea. So I got this to hang outside. Um, I got the kids these cute markers that are shaped like flowers on the end, and you stamp so I got, um, I think I got a couple of these. And of course, a little teapot house. And a little beach themed little rock, an octopus on it. Got another thing of markers. Some spring colors, eyeshadow. And these, y'all saw earlier, so cute, these little Easter spatulas are just i'm just going to use them for spring this says carrots chocolate eggs and hoppy easter i just love the colors on this and the child protective things and this bee so it'll be it's supposed to hang on the side of a potted plant um so i don't know if i'm hanging on a plant or on, on something else outside i needed some batteries and then this little beach thing, this is a, some little sand. So, my plan is something like this. So, you got your VW bus pulled up by the, <laughs> the outhouse. <laughs> How cute is that? That's a beautiful trimmer. I need to work on my nose. And so, that is my Dollar Tree haul, y'all. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to get this stuff put away because I'm OCD like that. And I need to go potty and let Sandy go out and uh, then figure out where I'm going next. I probably have to go back up to the area I was just at because my sister said there was this place up there um, for kids stuff. 
and I need to go and um, I want to go check them out. It's like a secondhand store for, for kids stuff. So I wanted to go check them out. Um, I need to start a loan of laundry. So I'll back in a bit. I put up those supposed to be like childproof stickies on the fridge. It's not that I care if they get something out of the fridge or the cabinet is that they leave it open. But I mean, I can obviously pull it. I can pull it right off. And I guess it depends on how determined. I don't expect that to last very long. And I put one on the cabinet over there too. And I just don't expect them to last. Yeah, my Sandy girl is freaking me out today. This is a reminder to drink water. <laughs> she is really freaking me out today. Like normally she's near me. But today, since I've gotten up, she's been like glued to me like super glued to me and i can't even go to the bathroom i actually saw her doing this last night it started last night and she's like right there and as soon as i'm done she sniffs the the toilet like she's sniffing it and it's freaking me out <laughs> like why is she doing this i don't know um but, yeah, it's weird. Patty grabbed me some fries from Wendy's. It says it's supposed to be like 80 degrees today, but it's still 54. It's it's chilly today. Weatherman got it wrong. <laughs> hot, hot, hot fries. Ooh, but good. Ooh. By the way, mmm, hot. Mm. But she, do you hear? It's Terry Lynn Melody. I used to be her personal assistant. I really miss that. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to her site. She's got a real bluesy feel. I think she's a beautiful singer, songwriter, very talented lady, very sweet lady. So go check her out. I'm going to head home, put things away, and start putting this video together. I don't feel like going to the grocery store right now. Probably go later on today. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. Having a good day. Later, guys. I just had a brainstorm. I went to a consignment shop today um, in Colonial Heights to get some get stuff for the daycare it's occupational hazard anyway and I'm right down the road and I'm almost home and I'm like you know what that would be a perfect thing to compliment the daycare and I can even start it right there in my home in the garage area you know part of the garage area anyway Nana's Tots consignment child you know I think of the name later but I mean obviously Nana's Tots Nana's Tots consignment child Nana's Tots children's I have to think on it anyway like, because I always have daycare parents, you know, ask me if so-and-so needs this or so-and-so needs that. And, yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> nope, we aren't spoiled. I have discovered why she drinks out of the toilet. She prefers clean, clear running water as opposed to, you know, and any animal, anybody would. This, the water that sits stale, gets stale and stagnant. And she has this thing that 
you know, where her water kind of replenishes itself. But I don't like her drinking out of my toilet for obvious reasons. Plus, I put chemicals in there for cleaning and all that. And so I have to keep the lids closed. So I'm going to probably, because of my Sandy Girl is worth it, try to find something that circulates her water. She'll drink her water in her room, but it's not the same. I bet I could teach her to drink from a straw. <laughs> She's getting pretty good at the bottle, though. But I could get her a baby bottle, put water in it. All gone, girl. Alright guys, so I am done for the day and I'm going to wrap up this video. It definitely ended up heating up. But before I go, <clears throat> I found these, if you've watched my videos or you know me, you know jelly beans is a weakness of mine. And I found these, and I love nerds as well, particularly, particularly the nerd ropes. Well, I found these nerd jelly beans. What? <laughs> that, that crunchy and chewy at the same time is why I like the ropes. So, before I wrap up this video, I want to try these. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Alright, let's try one. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Three dollars and twenty-nine cents at Big Lots. Oh my god. That is the perfect snack for me. Oh lord. Mm, mm, mm. This is trouble. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, I'm going to wrap this up so I can get all this video finished put together and get it to you. Oh my god. Mm. I highly recommend. Mm. It has been great catching up. Tell me in the comments below what's going on in your life. What's your favorite Easter candy? Don't forget to like, please share, and subscribe if you're not already. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. I'll see you guys again soon. God bless. Mwah.